Uh, quality of character is, is clearest during a crisis. The choice to risk your own safety, your own future, uh, it's never an easy one. And the people we recognize today, they didn't have time to weigh the pros and cons to consider who may take care of their kids as an example. None of that when they put their lives in harm's way. They saw people in need and they acted. And we all should be honored to serve this great state alongside people of such quality of character as those we recognize here today. Today is really a proud day for all of us at Caltrans, but I think for the state of California, very humbling to see our nine employees receive these awards from the governor. We're just amazing. Their selfless acts, their courageous acts, their bravery on what they did beyond their call of duty uh, to save the lives of human beings, people they didn't know as strangers. It's just amazing. I'm, I'm inspired by them, and I hope the entire state of California admires people at Caltrans and what they do every day. To hear the stories of people and the things that they did, it's it's so inspiring to get to work with people like that every day. And this is a big part of when people talk about Caltrans pride, see where that comes from. You know, it's, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to accept this award. But, you know, it, it wouldn't be right of me if I didn't also accept it for my crew and the crew I'm a part of, which is Commerce Night Electrical, and also for the maintenance crews that were out there that night. And so this award isn't just an honor for me, but it's an honor for District 7. It, it means a lot because these things are not given out lightly. They, you know, and people say, you know, a hero, you do, you're a hero when this happens. It's like, it's just doing your job. It had to do what had to be done. And thankfully I had help with a couple other people. Everybody needs to slow down. And every time somebody passes me doing 80, <clears throat> I always say, hey, I left early, I'm on time. I didn't leave late. Leave early. Don't don't put yourself in a situation where you have to rush. You know, take your time and be safe. You know, you see somebody hurting, you see somebody in need, help. Um, you know, so I am I am glad to be recognized, but it's doing the right thing, it's doing the right thing. And I'll do it again. Well, I am uh, greatly honored uh, to be here. And uh, of course, I didn't do this to be awarded uh, just as a human being. When I see somebody in distress, uh, I just uh, stop doing what I was doing and try to help that person. I feel very privileged to be serving alongside team members like Jeff. They, you know, people like him, in my opinion, um, just exemplify what a courageous, selfless, and a great human being is. And I'm very proud of him. I mean, I'm very proud of being part of an organization where employees value that commitment to public service and, you know, basically risking their own lives to um, serve the public out there. We talk about, you know, uh, people first and safety is a number one priority. Really, uh, these individuals uh, sacrificing their own safety went out and uh, did things that were extraordinary at a moment's notice without really thinking about it. Without regard to concern for your own family, many people just risked everything for someone else. And uh, there's just so much pride being connected to people who feel their commitment to community so deeply. The job that they do and the job, the area where we do it, they're always um, looking to help people. You see the employees and the Caltrans employees and what they do every single day but then just to honor these ones that went above and beyond was pretty incredible. Thank you for all the great work that you do 24-7, 365 days of the year to keep our roadways safe and open for the traveling public and the people of California.